Pisces, this is your tarot reading for the month of April. There's no doubt that March was a epic month for us all. And April seems to be a month whereby we're recovering from it. And I, I'm pretty certain that's what's happening to you. Uh, the central card there, you're getting disillusioned and walking away. And that's almost certainly as a result of, well, the past few years, but, but very much so last month. Um, in the past, you have been, I think, depressed, seeing the glass half full. Um, but now you're sitting quite proud, behaving in a sort of firm but fair way, which I think we're all being called to do, to be fair, not give up on things, but by the same token, be fair. Um... Just possibly, it's also about setting appropriate boundaries. In the future, we have a wonderful card, a card of rebirth, a card of great hope. So I do see this as, as a very good reading, in fact, even though you might find April something of a struggle. Uh, I, I absolutely believe that all's well that ends well. Now, this bit about you being firm but fair, even though you may have realised that you've been manipulated, you've been cheated, you've been lied to, you don't need to intervene. Maybe set up the boundaries, if you can. But you don't need to do anything, because karmic justice is coming. And we can all feel that. In fact, we can probably see it beginning to happen. But we can certainly feel it. And that karmic justice, it leads to the outcome. So I think it's a wonderful thing, a wonderful thing. Um, what would change things is charity. I'm not too... It could be you being charitable, given that it changes things. I suspect it's people being charitable to you. <coughs> and it could well be that, you know... Many of us are going to be sort of bribed with narcissistic trinkets and narcissistic diversions. Is that a warning to you over that? It's possible. It's possible. But as a result of this day of judgment, as it were, this karmic judgment, you seem to get your ducks in a row and sort your head out and know what you need to do and move with pace towards it. So it does look to be a very good reading and I'm excited to get into it, to be perfectly honest. And what runs through this is... You becoming disillusioned with something and walking away. Now, I do see this as very, very positive. I think most of us have become disillusioned with what's going on in the world. I mean, for God's sake, it looks like we're going to war, doesn't it? You know, there's so much warmongering. And how many of us really see war as a good thing, you know? We're fed this sort of tribalism and, you know, so-and-so is evil and what have you, you know. But the war never solves anything, does it? I, I don't think any of us want war. Um, and you're walking away. You're walking away. You've had enough. You've had enough. I'm not saying it's war. It could be materialism. It could be many things. But you've had enough and you're walking away. And as I say, I think this is a very positive reading. And I think it's necessary for you to go through this disillusionment. For you to be reborn. And as I've said, you do get reborn. So I think it's, it's a positive thing to be doing. And 
just as you've, you know, the, the theme is disillusionment. And I said many of us have become disillusioned. I think we also, many of us, get somewhat depressed and feel hopeless. When I think there's great hope, and your reading very much says that. But certainly in the past, you were somewhat depressed. Seeing a glass half empty rather than half full. Not seeing the hope that's there. Not recognising that we're talking of a minority of people that are wrecking the lives of the majority. And when it's a minority like that, then surely things can change. Although I've highlighted a minority, it's not productive for us to seek retribution, for us to seek recompense even. Allow the unit, give that over to the universe, you know, even though it is a minority. But we have to find a way of leading our lives without them being interfered with in the way that they have been over recent years. Certainly not joining in wars, you know. And maybe to a degree, and that, that, that's a degree of fairness that I think you need. I've spent a long time trying to understand what's going on, and I've come to the conclusion that those who call themselves our betters are children. They're behaving like children. I can see through it just like that. And I think you're feeling the same way. We do need to set appropriate boundaries. So, you know, I mean, if you're drafted into the military, I guess there's not much you can do. Uh, but there are, you know, do what we can in to, in to keep our dignity. So, you know, when credit cards first came out, I was an avid user of them. I had some of the first credit cards in the UK. But now, I, now that cash is disappearing, I insist on cash as much as I can, you know. And these little things, these little things can not only save our dignity but can thwart what is planned, supposedly on our behalf. I remember as, I think I was a child, but there used to be a very popular poster that said, supposedly they held a war and nobody showed up. I think that sums it up. <laughs> I've said this is a spread of great hope, and we have, in the future, <laughs> great hope, massive hope. Uh, the redemption of this entire reading is this star here. You're being reborn. You're being reborn. You're emerging as a completely different person. You're emerging as a completely different person through having gone through this disillusion, this walking away. But in particular, as a result of spotting the karma that is going on. And that gives you great hope and you realise that we don't need retribution. But we need to start living our lives with dignity. Living our lives honestly. Living our lives being compassionate towards each other being caring towards each other and I think you do that in spades. And I kept saying that you don't need to seek retribution, leave it to the universe and I think you're acutely aware of this, that there is karmic judgement 
It's already happening, but it's it's going to come at a, quite a pace. And you don't need to get involved in these things, you know. Uh, let the universe take care of it. But I think knowing this has a profound impact on you. I mean, maybe you've been involved in some wrongdoing to a degree. And you do get punished slightly. But it won't be anything, you know. Don't, don't worry about it. it. This is for those who've been greedy, those who've corrupted, those who've manipulated, those who've lied. And there's been so much of it around, hasn't there? So much of it around. And it's the knowledge of that that I think really does lead to total change in you and this massive, well, this rebirth and this hope. Now we have a ch card of charity and this changes the outcome and because I see the outcome as a good outcome I'm not sure how sh I should take this. I mean at one level it could be saying that if you are more charitable then maybe you're less driven and that's a better way to be and I could see it that way. Uh, but given that you're disillusioned I think that there's an attempt to bribe you, as it were, to keep you online, you know? You're offered these narcissistic trinkets of materialism, or these narcissistic diversions. But I think it's that in particular that you're walking away from, because you can see through it now. I'm not entirely sure on how to interpret this energy. I'm reading this outcome as a good outcome. And I think it is. Is you getting a sense of purpose, a sense of direction. Aligning your sort of objectives with your strategy, as it were and moving in quite a fast-paced direction. But of course, if your strategy is wrong, then it's the wrong thing to be doing. So is the charity card actually saying you should be more charitable? Well, you know, the outcome is this rebirth, is this hope. So I think I've got to read it as a good outcome. I think I've got to see it that way. But let's get some clarity. What is it that you're walking away from? What are you walking away from? Well, the first card we draw is the moon. Fear of the unknown. You're walking away from the fear porn, aren't you? The next card we get is the empress. Ah, walking away from luxury. Yes, so I am right about the charity card. Yeah, walking away from luxuries. Wow. And the other thing you're walking away from, creativity, seeking creativity. That doesn't make sense. Let's look at these individually. <laughs> So you're walking away from, you're becoming disgruntled with fear of the unknown. Of course, there's so much fear porn around, you know. It might have been the day before yesterday, it could have been yesterday, but almost every news feed or every vlog on this platform that I came across was talking about the coming war, you know. And we're just fed fear porn after fear porn after fear porn. What's this? Is it called Disease X? Have you ever seen Disease X in a medical mm -hmm. textbook? You know, it's, it's, just, it's just madness. And we've all been influenced it. But, you know, 
we're bound to be frightened of the unknown. But I think you, you, you're fed up with it. You're saying, well, you know, change is inevitable. The unknown is inevitable. Let's stop fearing it. Yeah. Now, the next card of clarity is a lovely card, the Empress. She's at home with nature. She's <coughs> in tune with her psychology and those of others. She's very nurturing. You know, it, it is the divine feminine. But the one bit that I take from this is that she's fond of luxury. Now, she's not greedy. She wants everybody to live a life of luxury. But I think it is. You're walking away from some of your luxuries. And you remember I said that that card of charity could be you being bribed off with narcissistic possessions and narcissistic pastimes. And I think you're saying, well, I've had enough of that as well. Yeah, that's what you're walking away from. There's no harm in luxury. I'm not, not knocking you for it. And there's no need to wear a hair shirt. Uh, but I think you're saying, well, you know, if, if that's the price of these luxuries, then I don't need them. The other card of clarity is another lovely card, the Page of Cups. Card of new opportunities, a card of creative opportunities. A card of sort of thinking outside the box, a card of creativity, you know? So why is this? Why are you walking away from that? Well... You know, maybe in your life, this luxury, these creative opportunities, these creative things, you're beginning to realise are the source of your unhappiness. And I, yeah, I, I, I think this rebirth is you not only walking away from this, but you, you choosing a different life. Now, I, I don't know if you've been sort of following the exposés on what these poor young ladies that are Instagram influencers actually do for a living, where their wealth really comes from. And I'm not being moralistic about it. I'm not at all, you know, they can do what they want. But, you know... I'm not suggesting you're doing that, but maybe what you do, you know, maybe you work in advertising and you're beginning to realise that there's something a little bit seedy about it, really, isn't there? Something like that, yeah. I see this really is a fascinating reading for April, full of hope. You might find April hard going, but you're going to emerge out of it, reborn and full of hope. In the past, I think you've been somewhat depressed. I think we all have. Seeing the negative side of things. And I think as a result, not only of that, but of seeing things for what they are you turn your back on your world as it has been a world that might have been with full of luxury a world that might have been full of creative opportunities uh, but you're realizing that they're not actually bringing you happiness and that much in the world is we're being sort of paid off with narcissistic trinkets, narcissistic activities, and you're turning your back on those. And part of the reason why you sort of become enlightened is you can see karmic judgment for those who've done wrong, 
Maybe you've done wrong. Maybe there is a bit of judgment against you, but I, I don't think it's much. But you can see this karmic judgment happening and you resolve to change your life, you know? It's just possible that you'll be try to bribed off with these trinkets or activities, but I think you've completely seen through it. And you have this wonderful sense of direction as a result of this month wonderful sense of knowing where you're going and why you're going there and as I say as a result of that you're going to be reborn reborn in great hope so what a lovely reading what a tremendous reading that should give hope to all signs